When starting a new project, there are several very important functions and parameters that you should take time to set properly before using Nuendo. Important features such as project start and length times, global sample rates, and bit depth, and even your pan law are crucial to the way you are going to work for a specific project. In Nuendo, this is called the project setup, which allows you to change these parameters in an easy manner. These parameters are set and saved for each project individually, and they are recalled specific to the project you have loaded. So first, let's take a look at where these options are accessed from. The project settings are found within a single centralized window. It gives you a simple and clear view of how your project environment is set up. You can bring this window up and make any changes anytime you like during the course of your projects. You are also provided with a small information window at the bottom of the arrangement page, which gives you a quick glance at a few of the main important settings for your current project. Now let's take a look at each of the options within the project settings window. First, you'll find the start and length times for the entire project. Next is your frame rates. Frame rates are important when using Nuendo to score audio or music to video material. It is also important to set this when you are synchronizing Nuendo with other external video or audio playback devices. Below this, you'll find options for displaying the current timeline and display time formats. The format field lets you choose from a variety of available time formats, including samples and various frame rates. The display and bar offset allow you to adjust the display to line up with external sync gear in case there is some inherent latency in the system or the external devices start at a different point in time, but you just want to line up the time displays. The next section contains options for how the audio portion of the project is to be handled. Your global sample rates and bit depths are set here. You also have the option to choose the global file format used for this project when recording or rendering any audio files to your hard drive. The final option is the pan loss setting. This determines the total pan depth amount of the entire mixer's output bus. So in this topic we've discussed how to set up a project before you begin work. We've covered the main important aspects of a project that you should always set up when starting a new project. We've also covered the definition for each of these parameters so that you are completely familiar with the ways in which you can adjust and tailor your environment.